Well, we've made it to the end of the month, and what a month it was. The whole world went wacko kazooie, but that didn't matter because we were too damn busy to worry about it. Hopefully things are starting to get back to normal where you're at. Here in Illinois, the governor saw his shadow, so that means we get four more weeks of quarantine. But I don't want to think about that. What I want to think about is my favorite drink that I've come up with for down here in the bar. Now, I know I've said before that I don't like sweet drinks. Well, this drink is certainly not a sweet drink. Now, I like to start, before I even make the drink, by seasoning the rim of the glass. So you start with a martini glass and a little bit of lemon rind, and you just lightly rub it along the lip of the glass. Now, what this does is it gives it a little bit of a lemon flavor each time you go to take a sip, but more importantly, it gives it that lemon smell. So when you put the glass up to your lips to take a drink, you get that scent to go with the drink that you're gonna have. Now this drink starts with the base of gin. I like to use aviation gin, um, not only because Ryan Reynolds owns the company or is part owner of the company, but because it's a really good, smooth gin that isn't real, uh, a lot of gins can tend to be a little bit too forward on the, uh, on the juniper taste to it. This is a lot smoother and it's not so in your face with that taste. The next thing you're gonna need is some creme de violet. Now this is a liqueur that's uh, made with flowers. It's got a really flowery scent, but not a sweet scent and not really an overwhelming scent. But it goes well with the gin. The flavor and the scent mixed together it just makes for a nice aromatic drink that tastes great. And the last thing you need is a little bit of lemon juice. Now, you start off with your shaker, put your ice in it, and we start with four ounces of the gin. Uh, I wouldn't use too much more than four ounces of gin in this um, if you wanted to make it a, you know, a stronger drink. I would go with more of the creme de violet if I was going to do that only because uh, the more gin you have in it, the more you lose the creme de violet because it's not a really strong flavor. Uh, then you need one ounce of the creme de violet. So half of that. And then one ounce of the lemon juice. That's in your shaker. Give it a good shake. And then pour. Now, I like to garnish the drink with a little bit more of the lemon rind. So I'll take a little bit more lemon rind. Twist it up kind of nice, make it into a little corkscrew, and then put it in your drink. It's supposed to float, but apparently not today. Um, then, cheers.